Hey everyone, so today we'll be looking at Excel operations under Trizen Test Tosca. So first things first, let's create a test case under Excel operations folder and name it Excel operations. And head over to the test configuration parameters and add a configuration parameter, workbook path, workbook name and worksheet name. I'll let you know why I'm doing these steps in a while. This is super useful steps, which we'll figure out why in a while. Fill in the complete workbook path that leads to the workbook, workbook name, and the worksheet name. Now let's add a open step where we open the workbook. Fill in the workbook name. So here the configuration parameter which we had used previously comes into play. We can just refer the workbook name as a configuration parameter. Refer the path. So this will allow us to uh, populate the path without having to change it every time. So we can just change it at the test case level and it reflects everywhere. If it's a password protected, enter the password. If it's read only, select true or false. And now let's define a range. Select dbox define range, Excel. Yeah. And then fill in the workbook name, workbook path, worksheet name. So now you can see how we are reusing the configuration parameter that was used in a test case. And what is a range? A range is basically a set of rows and columns that we want to operate on. Say for example, A1 to D3. So this is the range of concern which we are looking for. So instead of Tosca scanning the whole entire worksheet, we are saying scan in this area and you will find whatever we need for the test case. So that's what is the range and we can give a range a name. So in our case, let's say start cell is A1 and end cell is D3. And give our range a name with let's say range 1. And you can use this range again and again when you want to manipulate that range. And now let's say range manipulation. So we want to get into that range and do operations on some set of rows and columns. So let's define the range we want to operate on. We had set it range 1 previously. So now let's see the data. So row header is the country, capital and population and row 1 is India and the capital of India is Delhi and population is empty which we'll be operating on. So yes, let's get back to test case and fill in Header is the headers which we just saw. Row last content row is again a row one, and first empty row is row number two. So we are concerned with row number one. Let's fill in row one, and under row one we'll have cells. Cell is nothing but columns under that particular row. So the first cell will be country, second cell will be capital, and the third cell will be population. And for the country, let's verify if it's India. And for the capital, let's buffer the value which is there in the capital cell. Let's say, let's buffer it under B capital just to distinguish it from the value capital. And for the population, let's do an input operation where we input a value of 1.4 billion. Since we are adding a B, it will still be a string. If you are entering a numerical value, it will be numeric. Now that we have manipulated a particular range or did some Excel operations, it's time to save it. Save it and close the Excel workbook. The standard procedure. You have to type Excel close. You can spell Excel over there. Excel close. Yeah. Find the workbook name as previously used configuration parameter. 
so in case if you change your mind to change workbook name you can just change it at the test case level and it reflects everywhere click on save i mean true make it true so that we are saving the workbook that's our data let's right click and run it in scratchbook wait for it to execute that was fast and let's see the results uh, the country was india and that's verified let's see if the value delhi has been stored in a buffer let's check click on tools buffer viewer and make sure the capital of value is stored as delhi and now let's check the test data i mean excel sheet and look at the population column it has been set to 1.4 billion so that's it that's how we operate on the excel sheet and that's it for today